For me, interviews and biographical style writing, which I've done now for about the last nine years, uh, they're a great channel for empathy. You know, I, I love being able, like an actor would, which I also did growing up, uh, to stand inside of someone else's shoes, to really imagine what it is that they're going through, what their life is like. And, you know, I, and I always tell people, I mean, just like I believe anyone can do art, we're all creative beings, um, I think anyone can be a great listener. I mean, if you really try and you're given enough context, you can understand why people make the choices that they do, why they are the way they are. You know, we would talk about how, you know, conversation is about one idea building on top of another. And, you know, and inevitably, I think great conversations, the interviews that I walk away from where I'm like, whoa, I mean, holy smokes, I'm going to think about that for like a week, is because it was an exchange. You know, I mean, they were interested in what I had to say as well. Um, and also, I, like I said, I share a lot about myself in my interviews. I mean, not overboard. I don't tell people about my private life. But I mean, you know, if they say something uh, about, you know, having a great record collection, well, then I have no problem saying, oh, that's really interesting. My dad is actually a record dealer. Like, I grew up in a record store. And immediately, you know, we have a bond. They think that I am interesting and they feel like they can share more about what they do. So again, uh, you know, for me, being a people whisperer, someone that listens to other people's stories, I think I should say right off the bat that what keeps me driven is that it actually helps me as well. You know, I mean, for me, taking the focus off of myself like a therapist would actually is when I have the greatest revelations about my own life. And, you know, it, it's nice to not get stuck inside of your own head. It's really healthy for me. So that's my biggest driving force.